All right, we're back. All right. Uh, this morning, we did 500 burpees in an hour. Not we bad. Also, we did, and then on Saturday, we did 480 in an hour. So we've been sticking right at eight burpees per minute, right? Yeah, stick well, eight burpees every minute, and then we're left off with like 20 seconds left in that minute for a rest. For For every minute? Yeah. Oh yeah, for every minute we have about 25, 20 seconds in each each minute, so we're re- relaxing. Um, it's it's in the first round, the first round like two days ago, we started on May 9th, our training. Uh, I mean, I mean we're in pretty good shape, I believe, and an hour was it was it was difficult, but we got through it. Um, nothing so far has been really like hurting, hurting. My shoulder has been probably the worst. Yeah, I think it's. Um... I think we're just not used to using those muscles. I mean, I think yeah. it, I'm, I'm fit because when we first started running, when we first got into like running and like long distance running, my shins. I was telling you this morning. Yeah, yeah. your yeah. shins hurt. Everything starts, and then I think you, after a while, your body realizes that you're not gonna stop if you do it enough times, and it just says, <laughs> "Oh well, you know, this crazy bastard's not gonna stop. I might as well figure out how to fix it." Whether you know? that's whether that's smart or not, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're still figuring that out. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah, so we're doing the burpees. Um, oh, for, I mean, so far we've done not. I mean, in three days. I mean, we took a day off because yesterday was Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all those or belated Mother's Day to all those mothers <laughs> out there. Yes. Uh, we were over Nick's house. We had a little little family get together. Uh, we were we were hitting phase one South Florida's uh, phase one a little early than the rest of everybody else in Palm Beach County. <laughs> but uh, you know, we had a good time with the family. Uh, you know, and had some good food and then, uh, took a day off today. We're back at it, you know, but there's yeah. something about doing those burpees or anything that gets your heart rate up for like a long period of time, mm-hmm. like getting your heart rate up, like doing burpees for an hour. Mm-hmm. And then, and then at the end of that hour, after you catch your breath, there's something you get that feeling where you're like extremely relaxed. Oh, it's that, I mean, I guess that's, I mean, I definitely, when people say runner's high, and I've gone over this before that I didn't recognize it, but I'm recognizing it with these burpees. Yeah, I'm like, these, like yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. Because like, like w- right after we did the burpees and I, and I jumped in the shower, like, I just felt good. Yeah. I felt relaxed. Very relaxed. I wasn't worried about anything. Probably yeah. just that whole idea of like getting all that out of you, you yeah. know? I feel like with today's society and a lot of, I think a lot of like, people that do these extreme endurance challenges and stuff like that. They, they say that, I mean, obviously life today is kind of, it's the easiest it's ever been. You can pretty much get anything you want, work from home or most jobs you can, or not most jobs, a lot of jobs out there. You can work from home. You don't need to go and catch your own food every day. You go down to the market, you get, or the grocery store, you get whatever you need. You come back, you can have it ordered to you. We're way too comfortable. Yeah. (laughs) So, I mean, like, and I think like, I think that's where depression kind of comes from too. Cause your, your body's like, well, why isn't this tough? So it start make it starts making up problems for you to deal with. That's a good point. You know? So I guess, I mean, that's, and then they even say psychologists and, and therapists and stuff, they say that the best or one of like a good coping mechanism for depression is rigorous exercise or mm-hmm. just exercise in general. Yeah. Because, I mean, you're kind of like, you're, you're getting your mind to, you not you're not sticking in your own head. You know what I mean? Yeah, and they, it doesn't always have to be exercise, but what's good about exercise, it's like a double whammy, you know? Yeah. Not, only, not only are you becoming healthier. Yeah mentally but physically too yeah but even if you don't if you don't want to exercise even just like setting like a small goal yeah. and achieving that goal you just feel better yeah it's it's know? it's it creates it creates a little bit more discipline for you it's, yeah i mean i think just like your body if you're able to strengthen your your muscles and your and your body and your endurance i think you're able to strengthen i've always thought about this like you're able to strengthen your will or your discipline too that's that's mm-hmm. its own muscle i think yeah. and i kind of if you set yourself these goals and you stick to them, then you're kind of, you know, and you're kind of strengthening that muscle as well, that discipline yeah, muscle. For sure. Yeah. But I mean, again, most people, you can't, and I think I've learned this and I think you've learned this. If you need the rest day, don't give yourself the rest day because you think you need it. 
give yourself the rest day because you know you need it. Yeah. You know, because, you oh, just it. because, yeah, they, yeah. yeah, because, oh, I need a, uh, this week I need a rest day, but you feel fine. All mm-hmm. right. So why are you resting? If you feel like, like you need a rest day, take a rest day. But yeah. there's, there's a big difference between allowing yourself to rest and you actually needing the rest. Or do even, even if it's a rest day for your body, use that rest day to do something else like yeah. stretching, just focus on stretching for yeah. like an hour or yeah. something and like not that. to not to say that like stretching is not like work you know it's yeah. not it's still difficult to do but i yeah. mean at least you're not like it's not like running you're not that poundage on your knees you're not destroying your knees over again you're not creating more uh micro fractures in your shins and your feet you're kind of you're kind of doing another thing you're 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 strengthening another area of your physical capabilities yeah or yeah. even like just dedicate like an hour out of that day yeah. just like research like different like ways like just different mm-hmm. form different things different ways to, uh I, I what i was thinking was just like a different form and running yeah. or like trying to fix your form just like do some research yeah. look, some, look up some youtube videos as long as you're doing something don't just like just slack off the whole day you know i had a i had like a big well i was telling you the other day but i think it was cameron haynes or one of those big ultra marathon runners that were telling like talking about how you should be running and and one of the key things that helped me out with like my running and I kind of try to focus on that now when I run is uh like imagining that there's a ceiling just over your head Mm -hmm. maybe like I don't know six inches above your head while you're running and trying not to hit that ceiling because if you're going up and down like that that poundage on your knees is just going to make it that much worse so that I mean that's a big problem with with running is that runner's knee and that that's supposed to help it out a lot yeah and and you try that out for sure yeah yeah um so you want to talk about this diet we tried oh so about about a i I you you started it first i want to say i started it like the 26th or the 27th of february so we'll start with your story and then i guess we'll go because you did it first and then i think it started right after yeah So I did, we tried out the, uh, and I've always, I mean, I've never really been like a big diet. Well, I've never been on like hardcore diets. Like I always try to eat healthy and stay away from the crap and, and kind of, you know, just keeping my body nice and nice and right and not finishing a bag of Cheetos or, you know, eating a whole bowl of popcorn or something like that, but kind of not being mindful and, uh, you know, cause you, you ask, especially the things that we're doing, we're asking a lot of our body and you can't, you can't be, you know munching down on crap it's not going to help you out so i mean um not to say that i never do but you know (laughs) every once in a while you know treat yourself um but yeah so we tried out or i tried out the carnivore diet around february 26 and uh and basically the carnivore diet uh it's it's pretty much you know it's pretty plain and simple there's nothing to it uh all meat fish Protein, man, just, uh, yeah, you're just eating, you can't have any veggies, can't have any uh, peanuts, legumes, uh, breads, uh, you stay away from everything but meat. And uh, and I would kind of, I I stopped doing coffee, you're not really supposed to be drinking coffee, but I stopped doing, I didn't really think about it. Yeah, well, yeah. I think when, I, I was looking at like the carnival diet, like if they're like, like ru- the rules for it, mm-hmm. and they said like you, it's like you can, okay. But you can't. It's a stricter it dep- it version depends. of the yeah. diet. Yeah. Because if, if everyone would just stop drinking coffee and did the carnivore diet, I don't think anyone would do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's tough. I mean, people, even people that like, that, I mean, you have people that have day, day-to-day jobs like that, they're probably getting up and the fact that they're trying this diet anyway, I mean, you're asking a lot of yeah, someone anyway. Exactly. But I mean, it, and it all goes down to willpower and mm-hmm. I, I think you need to, you can't, like some people can't jump right into an ultra marathon. You can't just jump right into a diet. You, you got to build it up. Yeah. Man. You got to ease into it. Um, but yeah, so we, we, I tried this, I was eating, you know, I was having just a big old steak for dinner, and that was it. Uh, breakfast, I would do my eggs and my bacon in the morning. And I realized over time that, like, my, my appetite was kind of getting lower. I mean, not that I didn't like that that the meat and the stuff like that. Like, it was, it was for the first couple of weeks, it was pretty appetizing. But um, I, I think after a while, you, you kind of start getting used to what you're eating, and your appetite gets a little bit suppressed. I wasn't getting hungrier during the day, mm-hmm. like I would be. I wouldn't get these cravings in the middle of the day. I felt more, yeah. uh, like more full. Yeah, know, like more yeah. Sa- 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 How do you say that word? 
satiated, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Or like know. the feeling of just being full. Yeah, satis- satis- satisfied. Yeah, like, satisfied. Yeah. But you're not really going back into the cupboard and trying to pick out, you know, yeah. something else. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I wanted a snack, I would, you know, I would have my deli meats or something like that, and I would just roll up like some turkey or some roast beef and pop a couple of those in my mouth, and I'd be good for you know another couple hours or until dinner time. And, uh, and that was, that was good. Um, only problem is that first, that first week, week and a half, y- 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 your bowels start to release. <laughs> you get the massive poopies. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, everything just flushes out. Um, for was, you, what for you, for me? Yeah. Did you feel it? Did you get any bad? Like, uh, I, I was complete opposite. I didn't, I didn't poop at all. Didn't oh, that all. was right. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. I uh, well. Weird. Yeah, so I was maybe it was the coffee because I I was because maybe it was the coffee that was helping me like shit. Maybe, or maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. But uh, I was at the gym one day and I had to sit in the bathroom for like ten minutes straight. <laughs> it was like maybe the second week of doing it, and I was like, it was like towards like the end of the second week I was doing it. But I I had to like stop my workout and go in the gym and like like just sit in the bathroom for like ten minutes straight. <laughs> and after I got out, I was like, oh. <laughs> but I mean, you know, your body is getting used to this. This it's probably making the all. The, what are the uh, your 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 gut biome is probably just yeah. adjusting to everything mm. else that this new diet, this strict diet that you're trying to put yourself on, is trying to get used to it, and uh, it's just trying to flush everything out, I guess. But yeah, you know, we'll we'll we tried that for or I tried that for thirty or about twenty five days, and then. Uh, coronavirus hit up and then I was kind of mom was getting a little angry at me because I was just devouring every tuna can in there <laughs> it's not the it's cupboard. not a, it's not a cheap diet either. No, yeah, yeah yeah especially when you want something else other than like like meat like if you want to get some fish or something yeah. fish isn't isn't cheap no no yeah. I mean I had salmon a couple times during it and you know deli meats for snacks yeah um you know you get your canned chicken tuna eggs in the morning that type of stuff yeah. but uh i noticed that i was I definitely had a and, and i always thought about this like people that just treat their body with like i don't know just eat the crap all the time they seem and i don't i mean i'm just kind of just talking here but i i would they seem like you know you would, like a heavier person an obese mm-hmm. person most people seem like a little bit grumpier you know like have like maybe a mood they're not very stable with their mood yeah. And I feel like that's because, and what I found out with this diet is I was able to see my emotion. I mean, you even recognize it. Yeah, we talked about Yeah, that. I mean, you kind of, you kind of see like your emotions coming to, you know, coming, you see yourself, maybe if you're going to get angry at something, yeah. you kind of recognize the anger coming. It kind of yeah. slows, it doesn't hit you all at once. You kind of see the anger rising and you're like, wow, it's, it's anger. And I think it's just that, that controlled energy. Yeah. Of not having that, that insulin spikes and yeah. stuff like that. Sugar it's a spikes. slow burn. It's yeah. a slow burn. Yeah. But yeah, that was an interesting aspect too. My mood kind of changed. I was more, a little bit more relaxed with everything. Um, it was interesting. It affected everything. Even my skin. I mean, you same yeah, thing too. Same my thing. my skin was clearing up. I didn't I mean, I get I mean, I get I've always had when I was especially when I was younger, I had bad acne, but I mean, nowadays I, you know, I clean my face pretty well. I'm always washing at least 3 times a day I wash my face and I still get acne every once in a while, but I mean, the 4 weeks that I was doing it, it was like I hardly got any acne at all. It was I looked I just it, it looked a lot better. My mm-hmm. face looked a lot better. Um, I felt good. I felt like I had, it wasn't like I wasn't in energy levels too. It yeah. wasn't like I would have like a, like a surge of energy throughout the day. It would just be this constant, like, okay, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You know, like you get sluggish midday through mm-hmm. the day. If you have like a big, like maybe like right after lunch, like yeah. you kind of just want to take a nap or yeah. something like it's that. Like, oh, yeah. I wanna... No, it was, it was just, yeah. I was at these steady levels the whole time. Yeah. I, I, there was definitely some big benefits to this downside is you just want something sweet like yeah. I, fruit was like the craving yeah. fruit was like i just couldn't stop staring at like strawberries <laughs> or like even the little things like a peach or something like that i just wanted something sweet because you would just have a steak with like salt and pepper on it yeah. you know <laughs> it was, i mean not to complain but i mean mm. it was it's good stuff you know but still yeah you need a little variety yeah but, i mean so like, other than so the pros. Let's go. So the pros were oh, the I, energy level. It was for you. It was energy level, constant energy level. Uh, um, skin, skin. Uh, it was shred city. 
Okay. <laughs> did, did you weigh yourself? Like, I well, I dropped ones? down to like 142. Okay. Yeah. So what was that from what you were before you started? Probably eight ten pounds. Yeah. Okay. So you yeah. dropped about eight ten pounds. Yeah. Like that. I mean, it was you could. I was being more defined. I yeah. mean, if you're looking for a good way to lose weight fast, I mean, this is the way to do yeah, it. So honestly, got, it's, it's like just, it's almost like a no keto carbon. on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. So pretty good pros, and then the cons. I would say just what just that crate the craving and the shits. Yeah, yeah right? pretty much. Okay. <laughs> As, I mean, and also, yeah, you cr- your cravings and, and yeah, going to the bathroom every five seconds. Yeah. But I mean, that only lasted that first maybe up to the second week. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So yeah, what's your story, man? So I saw, I mean, me and Javine both heard heard of this uh, diet, um, but I. Started it right when Giovanni was finishing it. Yeah, I think I right when I he was think finishing I just it. Finished it. So I think I I told my because I right when the uh, the Corona stuff started happening. Yeah, it was like early March. And yeah. I realized I wasn't going on uh, the cruise for spring break, and I just started eating like crazy. Yeah. You're stuck I, at home. Yeah, yeah. Was, and yeah, I just started eating like crazy. I got up to like I think I was I was walking around at like maybe like one seventy five. And then I just started eating like crazy, um, got up to maybe like 184, 185. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, I can't do this. Like, I can't run like this. Like, it's too heavy. So, I boom. couldn't imagine on your knees. Too. Yeah. yeah. So, I tried. So, then I, I started the, cor- um, I almost called the Corona diet, <laughs> the carnivore diet. Um, first week, I was craving the coffee. Definitely. Yeah. First couple of weeks, I was definitely craving the coffee, especially the smell. I could wake up and I'd smell the coffee. Oh, that just, was everything that you couldn't oh. eat. You would just walk over it and smell it. And yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> but the coffee, I think for me, the bit, the hardest part about this was the coffee. Maybe at, until like maybe like day twenty, like I, I didn't really care about it anymore. Like towards the end, I didn't really care about it anymore. But the coffee definitely was the hardest part. I think. Um. But yeah, just water, steak, eggs. So I think mostly what I did was ground beef and eggs for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then just whatever meat my parents were making for dinner. Okay. But it was fun because I I wasn't craving the chicken as much as I was craving the red meat. Maybe just like the tender, like the juiciness from oh, like you, I mean, I, the steak red meat. Is, yeah, steak is so much better than chicken. But yeah, dude, yeah. I remember I ate, I ate like maybe like three steaks one night. <laughs> but but the only let's see. You know, your dad has the 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 what was it? The flat top. We bought that. You know, what I'm talking about the griddle or whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> I we bought that when I moved into Orlando. That's what I was just doing every steak. steak on. On. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, the steaks were the best. Um, eggs and ground beef bunch of ground beef i guess that's like the that's like the cheapest meat you can get yeah i don't know i, I like, kind of like the brown the ground ground beef. beef is good yeah. yeah yeah i couldn't have it too much but yeah um what else oh i didn't i didn't poop for <laughs> i think maybe it was like 12 days 11 12 days mm. Yeah, it was it was getting I, bad. It was getting bad. A little scary. Um, I told my mom about it. She was getting a little worried because she didn't want me have to go into the hospital with all the coronavirus stuff happening. Well, I mean, even like when I I personally, even when I had to like go to the bathroom, my stool was like hardly anything too. Yeah, it was like like little uh, pellets. <laughs> yeah, like little pellets. Yeah. yeah, like nothing coming out. Like little like little Dove chocolate, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> things. But yeah, I think. <sighs> Was it? Yeah, it was like right around twelve days. I don't remember exactly, but it was getting long. Definitely ten plus days mm-hmm. that I didn't, I didn't poop. And then, I think one morning I was like, you know what? Let me. I was like doing it. I was doing jump ropes. Like right when I woke up in the morning, I think that got my like stomach oh, really? going or something. And then I sat on the toilet for maybe I just like oh, <laughs> just trying to push it out. And I got like a little bit out. I was like, yes, yes, let's go. That's the best feeling. I was like, dad, I pooped. <laughs> so that was a good feeling. And then I don't think I pooped again until like another six days later. Oh, wow. Okay. But at least like that happened. I was like, all right, thank, thank God. At least like something normal happened. I yeah, that, that was that was probably the biggest worry about it was that. 
And then the worst thing about it was like not having the coffee. But yeah, I felt the same thing as you did, like the steady energy levels. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the morning, in the morning, but I felt a little sluggish because I was doing the fasting too. Yeah. I didn't eat until like one thirty. I, I think, I don't know. I guess I, I needed to eat more meat yeah, or eat, eat more yeah. in the morning, so maybe. I felt better. But I just felt a little sluggish in the morning. That was the thing. Maybe you just weren't getting your the, ca the amount of calories, no, calories yeah. that you needed. In. Yeah, but other than that. I think pretty pretty good. I, I started at 184, 185, and then got down to like 172, yeah. so 13 pounds. What are you at now? You're still around that weight? Yeah. After this past weekend, though, it might be a little heavier. Oh, After yeah, Mother's yeah. Day. Yeah, Mother's Day. <laughs> had wow. some, some chocolate cake. Yeah. Oh, I had the Some ice cream lime. bars. Key lime was good. That was good stuff. We gotta do a run today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always feel like I always I always feel a little guilty. <laughs> I feel okay. Saturdays usually I have my I have a cheap meal, not yeah. a cheat day, just a cheap meal on Saturdays. Well, that's what I start because we always try to. I mean, especially like I, I speak on my account that like I always every time I try to eat healthy or like go on like a very strict regimen of just like a lifestyle, like working out, uh, uh, eating healthy, not drinking, not you know partying or anything like that. I always you always do, get do good for maybe about a month. And then the spiral comes, and then you start just eating everything in sight. I think it's good, like I was saying before, to give your willpower a break. Yeah, you know, because sure. that's the only way you're gonna strengthen it. You can't just deplete it and then be like, "I'm gonna do this forever." Uh, you know, you gotta yeah. give it a little bit of a break, and then maybe a certain time later, you just kind of get used to the fact that you're okay with it, and your willpower or your mind just gets a little bit stronger every time you do that. And then maybe somewhere down the road, you have enough strength where you could do that for a really maybe months on end. And yeah. then you have like a piece of cake or something like that. Yeah, because I remember I would go like a month. No, no cheating at all. Yeah. No cheating, no sugar, yeah. nothing. Just like strict, strict. Yeah. And then when like there would be like a period of time hit where like I... I indulge in a little bit yeah. like a cookie I, or something i would do the same thing and with, then yeah. Yeah, that'll turn into like a week of cheating yeah just because like i was like oh i haven't done this in like oh, a I'm month like, yeah i need i need like a week of just like getting oh i just gotta get this all back in and, and that's then, when the cravings really hit yeah yeah, yeah. no and i would it's just, just hard to start back up again so if you just have that one i think you need to have maybe that you know i mean everyone's different yeah. but i think for me i just need to have that one that one little cheat meal a week and i like that saturday night yeah it's good for me well, that's what I was thinking. I saw The Rock, like, put on, I was telling you, The Rock puts his cheat meal on sometimes on Instagram, and, and I'll have, like, uh, every, like, Saturday night at, like, 11 or something, he'll, like, post it, and it'll be, like, like two fat pieces of French toast with maple, drenched in maple syrup, peanut butter, jelly, with a glass of uh, tequila to the side. And, that's and his I mean, own tequila brand, too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but, no, nah, I mean, he even even he takes a break. Yeah, and I mean that's good. You got to give yourself a little bit of a, a reward for doing, yeah. you know, doing so much. Yeah. But yeah, you got to earn it though. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, no. The, so the carnivore diet after you got, and I mean, even you weren't constipated. No, no, I didn't even, like even like it wasn't was like, like it's not like oh I have to poop but I can't. Yeah, like I I felt fine. Yeah, yeah. I, felt, I think it's when you're. I don't know if I read this. I read this somewhere. I don't know if it's right, but they said. When you're eating the right food, you, you don't have to poop as much. Yeah, your reason. body burns off yeah. that good stuff. And it's, I mean, it probably is. It's just getting it, rid of the excess. Yeah, I think when you're only eating meat, you're... I don't know how to explain it, but I think I said it to you one time. You're... Uh, we'll have to do some research. I don't know. I forgot what, <laughs> I, forgot what I was going to say. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no. Nah, I mean, like, I think your body, like, uses every, like, every essential like nutrient in that and because oh, it's not you're crap. using you're using the energy from the meat more efficiently okay yeah okay that's yeah. what it was that's what it was but yeah but i mean it's it's a good it's a good diet to try i don't and there obviously even people like there hasn't been that much research on you know keep uh, the keto diet either so i mean like there hasn't been that much research barely any research on this but i mean it's a new diet i think if you're going to do it i think you should do maybe a month at a time just, just if you want to drop some weight, you know, but I mean, it's something that, you know, it's worth a shot. Yeah. And I think nothing the long term. Yeah. I think the most, 
the important thing like to start out just like try to get rid of sugar yeah honestly yeah. But this, there's the, I mean, where I first heard it was Dr. Sean Baker on yeah. the Rogan mm-hmm. experience, but it was like, uh, and he had been doing it for, and he's like 50 something years old mm-hmm. and he looks like he, I mean, he has the body of probably like a yeah. 20 year old. Mm-hmm. I mean, and the guy, I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's, and he's a doctor too. Yeah. I mean, but I, uh, so he has some level of obviously a, a level of proficiency where in knowledge where he would be able to have a place to talk about this from, you know, and Obviously, he's been ridiculed by a lot of people for doing this diet. But, I mean, you could say the same thing about veganism. It's another extreme, you know. I mean, yeah. it's just going to one end. I think I think it's a good way to reset your body, you know. Yeah. I think it's a good way. If you're, you've are you been treating your body a little bit, you know, unkindly, I think it's a good way to reset it. And you can kind of get back down to a good level. But I, I still think that, even especially with running... I think I think the carbs is essential because you yeah. need some way to hold mm-hmm. that water. Yeah. You need a way to hold the the water retention in your body. So you're gonna be dehydrated after an hour and a half of running. This is the thing about diets, man. Like, there's so many diets out there, and everyone's body's different, so yeah. it's hard to like find the right one. Is there even a right one? Yeah. There's well, not enough like research behind all these things. People I feel like people don't know uh, Peter Atia. I mean, he specializes in in longevity. And I mean, that's, and that's, I think that's what he's doing now. I'll have to check, but I think he does diets and certain regimens where it's even workout plans to like specific mm. to your genetic makeup. Ooh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm so pre- he like, what he like looks at, he, he, he like, you do like a bunch of tests and then you, he specifically will give you like oh. a certain amount of like what you should be eating this and that. I mean, even nutritionists do that, but I think he's taking it. To like another level, not like Wait, that's yeah. Actually... He's he's taking it to like another level. So he's basically figuring out which diet fits you. Yeah, oh, yeah. I but that's I mean essentially I mean people are like that all the time and people yeah. some people are allergic to peanuts. Yeah. Some people are I mean you, people people's body is yeah. Try 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 it out. Try yeah. different things yeah. out. Yeah. I I think for me, for some reason I the less carbs I have. The better I just feel, feel like, I just feel better. Yeah, I don't think that constant anything. energy. You know, I don't get tired. I also like when I do have a lot of carbs, like my stomach, like I just feel bloated. Mm-hmm. It's like hard to move. I don't Especially know. I just white bread. It's just hard for yeah. your body to like digest. It's I don't just remember a... the last time I had like pasta. It's I want to say it was probably like two, three weeks for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I had they had pizza the other day and I was like this close to having a slice. <laughs> Mom and dad had got and it. The, and we the thing is, I haven't. I don't. I, I don't really crave the bread or the. No, I I breads. Yeah. Really? Oh, you craving it? Oh yeah. Oh, I yeah. don't crave the bread or the pasta. What I crave, the most. I think maybe sweets. I don't know. I'm good. I don't need candy or anything like that. The one sweet I like is a. Uh, or not even like sweets, but like uh, chips. I like chips. Oh. Chips are like oh, those are the best for me. And that's yeah, that's straight carbs. I mean, it's salt and carbs. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that means that I need to eat more fruit if I'm always craving something sweet. Oh yeah, I I eat fruit like crazy. Stra- a whole thing of strawberries will go down. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Put strawberries. Mm-hmm. All right, maybe we should get back on on track. We'll, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so did we get to the end of your your month? Yeah. So end of the month, a loss. 12, 13 pounds. Yeah. I took a picture every day. See how it looked. Oh, yeah. I would start seeing, seeing my abs again. That was I felt, a good I felt idea. a little better, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I felt good. Yeah. Pros, uh, the weight loss real quick. Um, just felt better to that constant energy. Um, cons, the coffee. Really wanted that coffee. I guess that low energy in the morning, maybe mm-hmm. just from not taking in enough calories. I mean, you essentially did the whole month with that coffee, and then you texted me once you had oh. your first cup of coffee again. If you're a coffee drinker, <laughs> hit the reset go, button. Try to maybe not 30 days, but try to go like a week without coffee, uh-huh. and then have coffee again. You like just like reset your tolerance. Like it's crazy yeah. how strong yeah. coffee what coffee does to you. Like yeah. I was, I felt wired, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I felt, I felt ready to go. You did a bump and you're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh God. Crazy. And people who, I I know some people who take down coffee like. Oh, I, I've it's done no it. tomorrow. Yeah. yeah like. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've, and it's weird because like people say that you know, black coffee could be good for you, but then when you drink too much, 
It could, like, and then when you start putting stuff in it, maybe that could be bad for you. Anything in excess. Yeah. yeah. It, it's weird. It's yeah. kind of weird. You know, like how much coffee is too much? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I like to limit it to, if, especially if you're doing rigorous exercises like this and stuff like that. And I'm going to be like, you know, I, I'm, I, I feel like I'm going to go on a three or four hour run and then I'm going to like a big, big run. And then I'm going to come home and try to do homework or do something around the yeah. house. I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to need a little pick me up. Yeah. So obviously I'm going to have my second or third cup of like coffee. Two, I think two or three yeah. a day yeah. isn't too bad. I think you need to set a limit, obviously. But when you start having like eight cups... Yeah. No, when I've you start there. putting in, in some big mugs. I've been there. I've yeah. Been there. <laughs> when I got, well, I, I would pull like all nighters for like school and stuff like yeah. that. And then that's when like the coffee pot would be going. Yeah. It's not, and is it, when you start drinking coffee like that, you don't really take it for granted. No. You know, no, yeah. you're just kind of, it's like there, yeah. like you need it. Especially then, when you start building a tolerance for it. Yeah. And then when you, and then when you like go out, it's, it was just, I don't know, it felt good going without it. Yeah. And then having that first sip, it was like, yeah. wow. Yeah. This is big what reward. it actually does. I forgot what it actually does to you. <laughs> it's, excuse me, doing what it's supposed to. Dude, it's a drug, man. Yeah. It's oh, a yeah. drug. Oh, yeah. yeah. Obviously. I felt drugged up <laughs> when I had that first cup of coffee after going without it for 30 days. That's crazy. People depend on this. People depend coffee. on it. How we, uh, I'm, I'm actually really, like, I wasn't too, I'm we'll switching topics here. I wasn't too happy about I mean, obviously the whole Corona and everything getting shut down and everything. Yeah. I wasn't too excited. It was kind of being like, it was at first like a doom and gloom kind of thing. And obviously everybody that the people that have lost their lives, I mean, the, every, my heart and every, my heart and, and, you know, sadness goes out for them and their families. But I, I really liked the pause. I liked the pause on life to kind of reset. And taking advantage, especially like working out with you and like yeah. starting to get my, you know, got, starting to get a routine going again, yeah. kind of doing this challenge. It's, it's, it's been fun. I like how we've been, especially like just like trying to just increase your work ethic around the house and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I mean, we've been doing renovations around the house. Nick's been cleaning up around the yard in his house and just doing stuff every day and just trying to keep your mind busy. You know what? You know what's been pissing me off? What? I don't see as much now, but when it first started... People were just complaining about gyms not being open, um, not being able to go anywhere, not being able to work out, not being able to like stay fit. That's this is the time to take advantage. If you want to get shredded, man, yeah. this is the time to do it. Yeah, like you, you have, I mean, at least from our experience, I don't know what maybe other people are dealing with it, like trying to like um, keep their family going, trying to make money. I mean, I can't speak for them, but yeah. just if if you're like a kid like in college back home like this is the time to take advantage of this like yeah. if you if you have like a hobby that you wanted to start but you couldn't because you had class going on you had to work this is the time to do it yeah you got no excuses now what do you have to do yeah huh. i mean everything's shut down well it has been everything's kind of restarting back up but i mean even in this kind of slow progression back to norm or whatever normalcy is going to be mm -hmm. i mean you you should really like Try to take advantage, you know? Yeah, and hopefully whatever you're doing, if you have started something now during the whole, like, coronavirus thing, quarantine thing. New hobbies. Hope, yeah, something. hopefully it'll, it, it could, you build that momentum and it carries on to when things start opening up again. Yeah, yeah, this is a big, big, I mean, like, even, I, th and I think it's a good way to, like, start understanding yourself. Yeah. You know, or finding out new things that you can do or yeah. just kind of figuring yourself out a little mm -hmm. bit because, everything's not on high gear anymore you know not everybody's you don't have to go to work you don't have to go to school this and that you know it's everything's slowed down to a point where you can kind of <sighs> take breathe. a breath yeah. see everything that's happening yeah yeah i i enjoy i mean as bad as everything got and as crazy as everything got and some people it hit harder than others but i mean and i think most people are taking advantage of it yeah. like yeah. when i said like people were like a complaining and stuff and maybe that's just like a lower percentage of people yeah. but you obviously see a lot of people out walking around and yeah. stuff like that which and, is good and i felt like a better sense of like community in general yeah especially on runs i mean like people were more friendly yeah they said hi to you yeah, it was like just... me and my mom when, when when this first started happening like maybe like a week or two after i got back from uh tallahassee yeah. like we were just walking through the neighborhood and people would say hey, how are you doing you know how you guys holding up or whatever like on that. flagler and yeah. stuff me and nick went kayaking one day it was just kind of like a recovery period but in between running it was a good time it was a good time yeah we kind of were able to take a step back and appreciate life a little bit more 
yeah. you know, and better ourselves while doing it. Oh my God. Just f- going from running, not that I don't like running, um, in Tallahassee, like on the, on that trail, mm-hmm. like a bunch of trees and stuff, but coming home and running on the intercoastal and Flagler. It's a lot prettier. Yeah. <sighs> Gives you something to look at. Cause I, I think I was telling you this on one of our runs. I, you almost kind of, when you're not by the water, cause I, I've, I've lived by the water probably my whole life yeah. until I went to college. And then I was kind of like in central sort of in the middle, not close to the water, but yeah. in Tallahassee where what it, what's yeah. the nearest beach? Like a couple hours. Yeah, like, yeah a couple hours, yeah. but just being close to the water, being not close to the water, you kind of feel like a little trapped. Yeah, you know? yeah, a little trapped. And there's a little, little claustrophobic. You, you, you can't, you can't see like the when you can't see the like horizon on the beach, like yeah. on the horizon. Like yeah. I don't know, it was just like I felt like relieved, yeah. like running on the intercoastal, like seeing the water and stuff like that. I guess that's just kind of what we're used to because we lived in South Florida. All yeah, lives, you know. I guess it all depends on like how how you grew up, yeah. what you're used to. Yeah, yeah, you a little bit of familiarity is all right, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh I mean it was it was it's been a fun past couple months kind of just How long has it been since since we've been down here? I got down early March like cuz that's when my spring break I came down when my spring break That's started. right. That's when yeah. school it yeah. was right after spring break when we didn't go back. Nobody knew if they were going back up and then you went up I went back work. up for like less than a week yeah. before yeah. the restaurants closed and then I left. Yeah. That was it. And then everybody So that was shut right down. yeah right by then like mid March. Yeah. Yeah. The so what, it's been March, it's like a month and a half, month and a half, two months, yeah, month and a half, two months, yeah. It's been, it's been a wild ride, but we're going to keep it going for sure. I mean, yeah, let's see how long we've been going for. Uh, 36 minutes. 36 minutes, all right. Anything else? You still go? Um, we're going to probably go for a little run. We'll see if, uh, today sometime I got to do some grout work and stuff, but, uh, Nick's probably got to do some stuff around the house too, but uh, we'll see if our buddy Andrew and uh, Andrew Nassif wants to come out for a little run with us. If not, you know, we'll we'll, we'll go for a small run between the two of us, and uh, we'll keep it going. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah.